Yo, what's up guys, Angel here, coming at you with another Black Ops Cold War video, and today, ladies and gentlemen, I am bringing you my feedback on the Cold War Alpha. Now, I wasn't planning on having another Cold War video until the beta came out, but as you guys probably all know, Treyarch kind of surprised all of us by giving PS4 players a free-to-play alpha over the weekend last week. So luckily, I was able to get my hands on the game. I've been meaning to make this video for quite a few days now, but unfortunately, I've been too busy with work and life in general. But all that matters is that we're making it now, so I do apologize for it being so late. Now, to be honest, I wasn't able to get a ton of game time because of my work schedule. I think I only played like two or three hours total in game time. But I did try to play with a little bit of everything for the time that I did have. But anyways, regardless, these are my thoughts so far on Black Ops Cold War. So let me just start by saying I love the fact that map voting is back. COD developers, please never get rid of this again. Now when it comes to the actual maps, man, I gotta be honest. The maps weren't amazing, but they weren't terrible. I only really liked two of them. Satellite is hands down the best map in the game so far in my opinion. Which is ironic because I was going into this alpha thing and I was absolutely going to hate this map because of how wide open it is. And I actually thought I was going to love Miami, but we'll get to that in a second. But Satellite is actually not bad. It plays a lot better than I expected it to. The dunes in the open part of the map are laid out in a way to where you can still move around and kind of rush a lot without getting hopelessly picked off by snipers and campers. Moscow is decent. I think once I learn the map more, I'll end up liking it a little bit better. It's kind of a three lane map, but it's got a few too many extra pathways and rooms and nooks and crannies for my liking, but it's not terrible, it's okay. Now Miami on the other hand is awful man. It's Modern Warfare tier awful. Like I said, I thought I was going to go into this alpha thinking this was going to be one of the better maps, but man, I just honestly don't like it. It honestly, genuinely feels like a Modern Warfare map to me. It's got way too many buildings and windows and camping spots, and the map is just way too big for 6v6. And the darkness of the map makes it kind of difficult to see enemies, and overall I just don't like how it plays. Definitely my least favorite map in the alpha. Moving on to the 12v12 maps, Crossroads is trash to be honest dude. It's way too big for 24 players. I struggled to find people every time I played the map. Like I would go full games with only seeing a few people. It plays super slow and the tanks on the map just make it even worse. Armada is okay, it's a bit better than I was expecting, but to be fair, I only played it like once or twice, I didn't get a lot of game time with it, so I don't really have too much to say about it. Speaking of 12v12, the 12v12 domination game mode isn't really my cup of tea. It plays too slow in my opinion, mostly due to the fact that it's only 24 players on these gigantic maps. Now one thing I feel can help this is implementing squad spawning like we have in Modern Warfare Ground War. I just don't like spawning all the way on the back side of the map. It slows down the gameplay and it just makes it so tedious every time you die to have to rush back to the middle of the map where all the action is. I also think adding more players would make it a little bit more fun, at least on the Crossroads map because this is just way too big for 12v12. I feel like they either need to make the map smaller or add more players. It honestly just feels like a watered down worse version of Modern Warfare's Ground War, which I actually really like. I don't know man, maybe with some better maps or smaller maps and squad spawning or if they add more players maybe it'll be better but as it is right now I just don't really like it it's kind of boring to me now moving on to the guns honestly all the guns felt really good I didn't really have any that I hated my personal favorites were of course the AK-74U which everyone and their fucking mother was using in the alpha the XM4 otherwise known as a commando from Black Ops 1 and honestly the Type 821 SMG was really fun to use. It's kind of like the Uzi from other Call of Duty games. It's got a pretty fast rate of fire and not that much recoil. I thought it was pretty easy to control so it was just a really fun and actually a really good weapon to use. I can see it definitely being something that a lot of people use in the game. The snipers felt really good, honestly probably a little too good. It honestly felt like some of the best sniping we've had since Black Ops 2. Now I'm not too worried about it right now because I'm pretty sure a developer has already come out on Twitter and said that they'll be nerfing the sniping for the beta. Apparently they made it overpowered on purpose for the alpha to test something out, which I don't know what the fuck they mean by that, but I think they are definitely already confirmed to be nerfing it, so I'm not too worried about the sniping. Just feels like it needs to be nerfed just a little bit and it'll be in a good spot in my opinion. The gunsmith is really good. It's basically just an improved version of Modern Warfare's gunsmith system. 
it's nice to actually be able to see how much your stats are affected by certain attachments. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like there's a lot more pros and cons for the attachments in this game compared to Modern Warfare. Or as in Modern Warfare, there's always some kind of punishment for using any attachment. Overall, Cold War's version of Gunsmith feels better, and I hope they continue to implement this system in future games. While we're on the topic of custom classes, I do want to talk about one of the perks. Now, for the most part, the perks in this game are all pretty good and balanced. There is, however, However, one perk that I have a major problem with and that is the ninja perk. In my opinion, the ninja perk literally felt useless in this build of the game. I heard how loud my footsteps were my first game on and I was like, did I forget to equip ninja? And I went and double checked and it turns out I did have ninja on that class and I could still be heard from a mile away. I was still getting sound hordes so easily. This is a huge problem for me. Because I typically like to rush and run around, and obviously having quieter footsteps is a huge part of being successful in that type of playstyle. And I'm over here getting sound horde with no way around it. Now yes, crouch walking does silence your footsteps a little bit, but I shouldn't have to resort to that. Especially when there is already a perk in the game specifically designed to silence footsteps. Now look, I'm not asking for the footsteps to be completely 100% silent. Just tone down enough to make the perk worth using. Because as of right now, the perk just doesn't fucking work. I mean, you may as well not even use it. Throw on Ghost or Cold Blooded or something for the perk 3 slot. Because it literally is useless. It does not silence your footsteps at all in this current build. So hopefully they adjust the ninja perk. If not, that's going to be a pretty big problem for me personally. I mean, footsteps are one of the main things that ruin Modern Warfare for me. And the lack of a dead silence perk. And I really don't want to see a repeat of that where everyone is punished for moving around the map. But, to be fair, this is just an alpha build, so I'm still confident that Treyarch will make the proper adjustments. All the score streaks are good, I don't really have a problem with any of them. I think my favorite one to use was the War Machine. It's super fun to use, and it actually goes towards your kill streak bonus, so it can help you get even more streaks a little bit easier. And it goes towards your nuclear metal. The Chopper Gunner was honestly horrible on Miami and Moscow. There's just way too much cover and buildings on those maps. But on Satellite, however, the Chopper Gunner is amazing. You you can easily drop 10 plus kills with it every time you use it because of how wide open the map is. So let's talk about the actual score streak system. It's not as bad as I initially thought it was going to be. It definitely doesn't just give out free kill streaks, which is what I was afraid of mostly. You do have to go on some pretty good kill streaks to earn the higher tier streak. So Timmy No Thumbs on the other team definitely won't be getting a free chopper gunner by having a 1.0 KD the whole game. But with that being said, I still would rather have the regular score streak system. I understand the necessity of the score streak cooldown with this particular system, but I don't like how it artificially limits good players. If you start a game off with a 10 kill streak and immediately get all your streaks, Streaks, the next minute and a half all the score you earn is basically just wasted it almost feels like you're being punished for doing good early on in the game the other thing I hate about this system is since you do need to go on some big kill streaks to earn your score streak it ironically kind of becomes more of a system that is focused on kills rather than score I know how weird that might sound but let me just explain real quick so when you go on a five kill streak every kill afterwards as long as you're still on that streak will grant you an extra 450 points per kill a B flag capture and domination gets you, I think, 150 points. So let's say I'm on an 8 kill streak. Why the hell would I hop on an objective in domination and risk losing my kill streak bonus when that bonus rewards me literally three times more than the objective does? I could literally just camp and save my bonus and get my streaks three times as fast. And the only reason the kill streak bonus score is necessary is because of the super high scores that you have to get to earn your streak. Playing the objective is not really encouraged with this system, and that's what I don't like about it. The score streak system is supposed to encourage you to play the objective, but with this change, it just doesn't seem like that's the case. Now in past games with score streaks, this kill streak bonus was not a thing. It wasn't needed because, you know, the score streak system was actually normal. Where you didn't keep your progress after dying, therefore you didn't need 6,000 fucking points for a chopper gunner. 
therefore capturing the B flag was actually worth it since that's 150 score compared to the 50 or 100 you would get per kill. Playing the objective in past Call of Duty games with Story Streak system just felt so much more valuable than it does in Cold War. So for those reasons, I would really just rather have the normal score tree system back. I just don't like the idea of staying alive being more incentivized over playing the objective because that's not how the score tree system is supposed to work. However, I will admit that this system is decent and I feel like I can live with it if they just leave it like it is. My only two requests for this system is to maybe decrease the cooldown timer on some of the streaks, maybe make it different for each streak to kind of balance it out because 90 seconds just feels like way too long, especially when you start the game off doing really good. And I don't even know if it's possible without the system is set up, but if they could find a way to make playing the objective more rewarding and more worth it, then that, I feel like that would make the system a lot better. One way I could think of that they could do this is maybe adding a bonus for the objectives when you are on a kill streak, but this would get kind of tricky because they would have to make separate values for each objective in each game mode and maybe the bonus would become too much and you can get your streaks too easily i don't know maybe there's some way to do it maybe not but i don't know that's just the, the first thing that came to my mind either way this system isn't terrible and i'm personally okay with it if it stays it's good enough as long as it doesn't just give out free kill streaks to bad players i'm fine with it I like where the time to kill is at currently, it's not as long as BO4 and it's not super quick like Modern Warfare. It's at a level where proper gunfights can actually occur and you actually have a chance to fight back if someone gets the first shot on you. In Modern Warfare with the time to kill being so fast, if you go into a room and there's someone camping in the corner, you know, you're screwed the second you go in there. But in Cold War, you have a better chance to turn things around and get the kill. Especially if you're consistently good with aiming at the head, because headshots matter a ton in this game. That headshot damage multiplier is huge in a gunfight. And speaking of gunfights, the lack of flinch also feels good. It's nice not to die to accidental headshots, all because you got the first shot off on someone and the flinch caused their aim to land directly on your head even though they weren't aiming for your head. And on the other side of that, your aim doesn't get screwed up either when you're trying to get headshots. Overall, the gunplay in this game just feels really good. It rewards players with good accuracy and I just love it. And while we're on the topic of gameplay, let me just say that I am so glad that the minimap is back to normal. Once again, COD developers, please do not ever change this shit again. Leave it just like it is in this game. I don't understand why these developers feel the need to change shit that doesn't need to be fixed and that no one was complaining about every fucking year. Let's just leave the Modern Warfare minimap in the past. Never bring that shit back again. Another thing we need to get rid of and leave in the past is skill-based matchmaking. Now, I'm not going to go on a whole rant about it right now because this video, uh, I'm trying not to make it too long and honestly, I could go on a whole rant about why SBMM shouldn't belong in Call of Duty, but that's probably a topic for another whole separate video. But it, let me just say, it is fucking ridiculous that SPMM is in a fucking alpha. Skill-based matchmaking does not belong in a casual playlist, period. Ranked modes, I get it, it definitely belongs there, but casual, no place for it, get rid of it. They probably never will, but I'm just putting in my two cents on it. So that pretty much covers everything I wanted to talk about today. Overall, Cold War is a huge step up for Modern Warfare in terms of gameplay. And based off of what I've seen so far, I think this year has the potential to be a great year for Call of Duty. As long as they fix the ninja perk and make it useful and maybe have some better maps, personally I'll be pretty satisfied. And I'm super excited to see what else the game has to offer and I'm going to try to play a ton more when the beta starts up. So be expecting some streams and videos when the beta does start. Anyways, that's it for today's video guys, hopefully you all enjoyed. Consider leaving a like and subscribing if you did. And let me know down in the comments what do you think of Cold War so far based on the alpha. That's all for today and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.